that is RCU repository creation unit uh, actually RCU provides the schemas to SOA and also it uh, with the help of it you can also create multiple uh, repositories within a single database so let's now start with the installation for RCU let me take you first to the downloaded folder where it is located go to my computer then C drive then the same folder named stage FMW yeah you can see this folder named RCU home this is the downloaded folder. Open it. Here you, here you can see multiple folder. Find the bin folder. Here it is. Bin. Enter into it. Then you can see here uh, there are multiple DLL and .exe bash files. So we have to find the file rcu.bat. Here it is. RCU. This is the file that that needs to be executed in order to install RCU in our system. We'll be doing this with the help of command prompt and why we are using command prompt to do this you'll get to know in a short while. So to install RCU we have a prerequisite to take care of. What is that prerequisite? It's, it's, it is that we need to set a value of environment variable to true and what is the name of that environment variable? RCU underscore JDBC underscore trim underscore blocks. This is the name of the environment variable that needs to be set to true uh, before installing RCU on our system. Failing to do so, you might encounter some errors in your installation. So it's better to take care of this prerequisite. So we will do it with the help of command prompt. So I'm this I'm just setting the value of uh, value of that environment variable to true. Let me check it if it's been set to true or not properly. Echo RC underscore. So it shows the value true. So it's been properly set to true. Now let's start with the installation. So uh, first I will be changing my directory to the bin directory. Which bin directory? This one. I have to change my directory to this path. I'll be copying this directly. Why we are changing my uh, path to this bin director because it contains the file rcu cd so now now i am in the bin directory we will be running this file now enter so here we start with the installation and creation of a repository creation click on next create so you have to here you have to provide the data connect, database connection details. Host name will be localhost. Then port will be 1521. You have to choose the port number as 1521. 1521 is the default port for database listener. It's uh, known as database listener port. Uh, service name ORCL username sys then uh, password as oracle the same password which I uh, gave uh, during my creation of database installation of database I gave the password oracle click on now next the database you are creating is with a non l3 characters so you can safely ignore this warning click OK so uh, these are the components 
you have to choose which one to install uh, we need to install SUA and BPM infrastructure so I just checked on this component and along with this components and the subcomponents these two components are also automatically checked just wanted to um, make this to uh, just have a look at this one now you can click on next okay you have to provide the password for this schema uh, I will choose password as Oracle let me just keep a note of this one you can choose any other password if you like to I just kept a note of this one because this password because it will be required in our further installation click next components uh, these are the table spaces that are to be created next okay click ok these are the component details that are to be that are going to be created metadata services so infrastructure BAM and UMS create so it will take some about uh, take at most about two minutes to be created so we are now done with the installation of our uh, repository creation unit so you can see the status here success uh, with all the components so click on close so now we are done with the installation of RCU